Is this game like, uh, Doom? Cyber Mage Darklight Awakening is a first person action adventure game from Origin that takes your basic Doom style, kill everything in sight sort of game and expands it. Uh, but, but is it like Doom? Well, no, not exactly. It's more than Doom. Think Doom with a story. Uh, yeah, but I like, I like Doom. Is this like Doom? Read my lips. It's like Doom, only better in some ways. In others, it's not as good. Uh, like, like, make up your mind, man. Look, the post-Doom generation has been playing catch-up, vainly trying to match its successful formula without a hell of a lot of luck. Cyber Mage is yet another attempt at adding something new. Designers have been reading books and creating formulas to discover the secret elixir that is Doom. Uh, what does this one do that, like, the others don't? I mean, it looks pretty much the same, you know? Well, it adds a bit of adventuring on the way, in the Take item A to person B in order to obtain information or item C that will allow you to do D. Is this a good thing? Absolutely, if done well. Cyber Mage just doesn't do it enough, which is disappointing considering that it has been designed by one D.W. Bradley. Uh, like, who's he? Any relation to Milton? No, he designed a little game called Crusaders of the Dark Savant Wizardry 7. You know, one of the biggest designs ever seen in a computer game. This chick looks cool. Chicks are cool. Doom doesn't have chicks. Uh, so is it like Doom? The locations definitely look better with a variety of, uh interesting locations to explore, populated by interesting people who ride around in interesting vehicles. Each chapter is given a pulpy sounding title, but there is a little in the way of development of these comic book visuals. Once you're in the game, it's your basic kill everything in sight sort of thing. Even with this particular limitation, Origin has managed to throw a couple of new wrinkles in the mix, such as the ability to take over vehicles like tanks and the flying air cars. The plot puts you as the Cyber Mage in battle against Necron, a nasty guy with a Darth Vader complex, and that's about it. Go through a bunch of different areas shooting things or casting spells to your heart's content. Sounds like Doom. I like to kill things. I bet you do. You'll love this screen then because it's tough with a lot of things to kill. Lots of blood too. Put the kids away for this one, folks. Uh... I've heard it doesn't have network or modem play, man. I mean, what were they thinking? Oh, I don't know. Probably it has to do with the fact that there's a story threat here. And like Dark Forces, which this game resembles more than anything, you can't really have multiple players mucking around and keep a story. What it does have is an awkward default interface, which is fortunately configurable. But really, two screens to change weapons? But what about deathmatch, man? If it doesn't have deathmatch, it sucks! Look, not everyone has a network at home. Not everyone has someone they can dial up over a modem. Not everyone has more than one computer. Cyber Mage is for them. Besides, should every game be exactly like Doom? Well, yeah! Why should every game try to be like Doom when Doom already exists? Why not take this whole thing somewhere else, which Cyber Mage attempts but ultimately doesn't take far enough? Which is a shame, really. But I like Doom! I love Doom! Doom is me and I am Doom! Doom is like, you know, the game of my generation, okay? Cyber Mage is better. Really, just play it. Get past the interface and you'll like it. Really, I mean, it's a comic book replete with the same juvenile sexism and violence that guys like this warned you about. Avoid it at your own peril, but check your brain at the door.